Hi, my name is Mark Bullock and I've worked in disability sport in a wide range of roles at all levels for 30 years, uh, with a focus mainly on tennis. I'm now an inclusive sports development advisor, working with a wide range of partners to deliver inclusive sport. Uh, in recent years, I've become increasingly interested in sport and physical activity for people with profound and multiple learning disabilities. My involvement with Parallel and meeting fellow ambassador Joe Grace were a part of this journey after experiencing the Century 1K in the Olympic Park a few years ago. Through Panathlon, I've delivered sessions for young people with profound and multiple learning disabilities using adapted equipment, for example, ramps to propel balls, table tennis without a net, easy hit tennis, using balls of different sizes and textures, audible balls, and using colorful equipment uh, to deliver sport, perhaps a little bit differently. Recently, a tennis session at the Children's Trust involved tasting strawberries and cream, touching and smelling grass, touching tennis rackets. So they were sensory tennis players. So this is all underpinned by a model called STEP, um, which uh, has been around for a number of years. It's very simple uh, in, in terms of, uh, of what it's looking to achieve. And S stands for space, task, for T for task, E for equipment, and P for people. And in some models, you'll see an extra S steps, and that S is for speed, and that uh, applies to the speed at which you might deliver a session, uh, depending on who is in front of you. So in terms of space in sport, there's many things that you can adapt. If you take my sport of tennis, the court size doesn't have to be the traditional full-size tennis court. There are a variety of different court sizes that can be used, um, right down to a court that's a metre wide, so that people are not having to move too much, uh, and they can rally on a, in a very small space. Uh, and that might involve propelling a ball backwards and forwards uh, between them on a ramp, for example. So there's lots of ways that tennis can be adapted, or I prefer to say made more inclusive, by using the step model, adapting the space that we've talked about, the court size or the environment that you're in, adapting the task, uh, which is playing around with the rules. So for example, uh, wheelchair tennis allows uh, two bounces, visually impaired tennis allows up to three bounces. So if you're totally blind under the rules of visually impaired tennis, you can have three bounces, and if you're partially sighted, you can have one, two or three bounces, depending on the level of sight loss. But these rules can apply to all aspects of tennis. So walking tennis is emerging uh, with, a, with a two bounce rule, also play with a, with a modified ball. So I say the, uh, the, the court size can, can be adapted. You can play uh, doubles on a singles court, for example, uh, or the court can be made very, very small indeed, um, and, and people can rally without too much move, movement. They can play seated. So uh, over lockdown, I was delivering dementia sessions uh, to a care home in Dublin from where I am sat right now. So the participants were, were, were in their chairs. We encouraged them to stand a little bit uh, and then uh, when the time came right, we put a net out between them and they're playing with smaller rackets over, uh, over a mini tennis net set up in the care home. So the space can be adapted, uh, the task, so playing with the rules. Uh, I'd like to see the rules of tennis changed so that uh, it's common knowledge that you can play on more than one bounce rather than it being seen as an adaptation. We make the rules fully inclusive so people become much more aware that if they would like to, they can play with uh, different rules. Uh, so that's the task. So the other thing that can be adapted is the equipment, which is obviously linked to the space and the court size. So you can use a, a traditional tennis racket, it's 27 inches long, um, but there are rackets of variety of sizes uh, that can be used. Um, could be a hitting pad that I've got here, this has also got uh, a strap on the back, so with someone with reduced hand function 
can can use that to uh, propel or push a, a ball and then the balls can be a variety of sizes so here I've got a jumbo ball here uh, what we call a red tennis ball um, that's slightly bigger than a, than a standard tennis ball a little bit softer uh, flies through the air a little bit slower and and there are a, a number of these different types of ball and here have an audible ball that was developed predominantly for uh, visually impaired tennis it has a, a rattle in it um, uh, it's made of foam but it has applications in, in a wide variety of areas and, and I've used this quite a lot uh, with young people with profound and multiple learning disabilities um, and then the the final element of step is is the people uh, and uh, that's the concept behind that is training up uh, sports coaches in, in my sport tennis coaches uh, working with occupational therapists physiotherapists support workers parents um, to make them aware of all the different possibilities that are out there uh, to enable people to engage in sport and physical activity uh, so in some cases it might be that you need extra volunteers uh, to deliver sessions uh, support workers can be involved um, so it's just looking at the human resource around how sport and physical activity might be delivered um, for for people and in, the, and, and in this case in in this talk we're, we're looking at, at people with profound and multiple learning disabilities so my view is that anybody can play tennis uh, we need to adapt the physical activity and the sport to the people uh, rather than expecting people to adapt to the sport so if anyone has any questions uh, please feel free uh, to ask me uh, i'm on social media and uh, please feel free to um, contact me and uh, thank you very much for the opportunity to speak to you in this area and, and i say i'm passionate about providing opportunities for people with profound and multiple learning disabilities to take part in sport and physical activity. Thank you.